Let's build a replacement oscillator coil for an Emerson DM331. A spreadsheet that I put together some time back for an Emerson R156. Just plugged in and updated the numbers for this receiver. Looking at the starting part of the broadcast span, the upper side of the broadcast span. Updated the uh, IF to 455 and then put in the frequencies as well to the right for the short wave section. And uh, calculated the inductance needed for the broadcast band and the uh, short wave. Again, assuming the uh, capacitance values are correct. That's kind of the wild card in this. I have no idea if those numbers are right. Assuming they are, you can see the uh, calculated results in the spreadsheet, or you can see the math worked out at the bottom section on the uh, calculations necessary to determine the inductance. Keep things simple. I'm going to use a toroid FT50-61, and you can see the uh, layout of my build and the connection points back to the uh, circuit afterwards. The simple construction of the uh, oscillator coil, the uh, black lead I'm holding, goes back to the uh, band switch, which gets grounded to select between the short wave and broadcast band. You can see the lead outs come out to the uh, four corners and your uh, solder two points. So it makes the uh, installation real easy. You guys saw the design um, again the uh, ferrites, some of the specs, plus or minus 20%. So I ended up about 130 microhenries for the broadcast band and about 17 for the shortwave band. The oscillator uh, voltage looks good, anywhere from uh, minus 3 volts on the uh, short wave band to about minus 5 and then about minus 10 to minus 12 on the uh, broadcast band. So I think the uh, number of feedback turns uh, being the 10 is uh, a good number. Wound with uh, 26 AWG wire. Hey guys, you can see I've got the oscillator coil tacked in that I built. It's a uh, two band this is the uh, short wave. There's a little bit of uh, propagation this morning. For those works that God has ordained, mm -hmm. establish and finance a reign of dictators, roll to roll. Let me uh, flip it over on the uh, broadcast band. The band switch is back here on the back. Again, when I designed it, I just assumed the capacitance for the uh, receiver that it would be placed in, the uh, DM331. Again, I don't know the specs on the capacitor, so the uh, oscillator may be on the high or low side, which would require more or less turns on the uh, toroid, but uh, be a good starting point. <laughs> 